Cancerians, welcome to my channel. We're doing your special read for the holidays. It's called The 12 Cards of Christmas. <laughs> okay. There is no weekend read. I'm doing this as a special, meaning it's timeless. You can watch it anytime. You can also watch the other Zodiac. If the title matches for you, that's for you. Because the idea here, we're all part of the Zodiac. We are all the Zodiac. So meaning, you just pick what you want. Pick the title. That's your story. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I'm gonna get six cards here and the six cards also in the extended read and then I'm gonna flip also in the middle. This is a verse deck and I, I use this way way back when it was uh, way way back. Pre-release. I'm just bringing it back. I'm bringing the sexy back Cancerians. Love my Cancerians. Oh my god. Like, whew, my Cancerians. I'm surrounded by Cancerians. Yeah, like literally. Okay, five, six Cancerians around me every day. Every day. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's see though what you guys are going through. Cancerians. Oh, you know what? Okay, let's see here. Gets the card first. You have here Ace of Wands. I'm hearing Michael Jackson's song. I don't know who's listening to Michael Jackson. Nine of Swords. Ooh, Nine of Cups. A lot of nine. Nines are good. Singles is good. You have your Four of Swords. Okay. The Fool card. Spirit will journey, journeying, also Knight of Swords. Okay, now an extended read, we'll flip it over. We'll get it from the bottom. You have here, mm-hmm, Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, Three of Wands, uh-oh, guess what's next in extended read, guys? Next is next, Two of Cups, <laughs> and Ten of Pentacles facing up. Oh dear, this is getting good. And you have Justice, but reverse. Okay, anyhow, let's begin. <laughs> The dress is going to be an extended read, but here's the lowdown. Here we go. First card is the strongest. Ace of Wands. The spark, the flame. See, if this was a movie from Thor, if you've watched that movie, this is the eternal flame inside that city, okay? It never dies, Cancer. It never dies. That flame never dies. Okay, I don't know if there's a song that never dies. I think there is, right? <laughs> But there's a song. Oh, Love Never Dies. Something about Never Dies. I like the sun, how it's hitting me right now. Oh, maybe they're even saying, if the sun never dies, well, it will in a billion years. But it's almost like that. The eternal flame that you have with this person. It's just, the, it says there. So meaning, because you have the, th the thunder over here, and normally the thunder is associated with a tower. So there can be some of a, something of a breakup. Okay, I'll, I'll keep the light here. It's for, it's for um, <laughs> effects. There can be a breakup because of the thunder. But you have this wonderful fire love for this person that it just never dies okay first love never dies okay that's what they say but as how it progresses you may have this enormous loving energy for this person the spark that you have but you see it with the nine of swords uh, the stress that they give you but you're, you, you, you see that you, you, you don't know, not, not that you don't know what stresses you in this deck, you already see it for what it is. Yes, they are the cause of the thunder, okay? If there was a breakup, they were the cause of the breakup, okay? If it wasn't a breakup, they're the cause of anything that is sudden. A thunder happens unknowingly and it shocks you, right? So this person always shocks you like crazy and it causes you so much anxiety and it's like, get out of my head. That's what you're saying over here. Get out of my head. Okay, Kylie Minogue can't get you out of my head though. That's what it says. Now, look at the polarity over here. Nine of Swords, they stress you out. Nine of Cups, they also make you happy. <laughs> the duality again of love, the good and the bad. Nine of Cups, okay? This is, you're seeing the cornucopia right there, right? That's an angel. Here, you're wishing for it. Here, the cornucopia is being given to you. When is the cornucopia? I think it's for Thanksgiving, right? The, the thing, all the abundant and celebration. So you got what you asked for. You got the stress, you got the happiness also, okay? And then that's the part where you have the eternal flame. The eternal flame for me is a mixture of the good and the bad. It's just like that. You know, it's just like that. It's just going and going. As it progresses though, you have here, of course, one second, the Four of Swords. You're tired. You want to sit down. You want to sleep. But you see all those fire burning there? That's still the eternal flame. <laughs> Behind that king, 
behind this resting mode that you want, you still have feelings. Because this is heartbroken, right? Four of Swords, Three of Swords is heartbroken, right? And then the Four is like, you understand the situation, it's stable, meaning you understand it for what it is, and you're letting it go. Can be some sort of betrayal, okay? Because remember the Thunder I told you. This person appears to be, they don't care how much you're in pain. <laughs> okay? Because from what I'm sensing, they're the full card. They're a free spirit. I don't sense that this is you because you're very serious. With the Ace of Wands, that's you being in the Olympics. Okay? That's how serious it is. You know there was so much people routing for this connection. Even you were routing for this. Even Tyra Banks from America's Tech Stop Mall. She was routing for this. Okay? <laughs> I like always the, giving us a reference. People connect with that, I think. The full card. They're always about the fun and they don't see how much pain. They only see how much joy. Okay? And here comes the pain part that they bring. Okay? Let's see. You have here the Knight of Swords. But it's not facing, right? So meaning, when they communicate with you, it's almost like half-truth. Because a straight Knight of Swords is whole truth. If it's facing back, I'm sensing. It's not reversals, of course. It's verse. I'm sensing that they give you half-truth because they're the fool card. They think that they can fool you. But you are here. First card... I'm serious, you know? It's like, I want something here. I want something fiery. I want this flame to burn. But for them, it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here. I want to have fun. Oh, you have nine of cups. Oh, let's have a party. Let's have a drink. Let's eat out, you know? And then for you, it's like, what are you talking about? Things are burning in the kingdom over here. There is something that we need to address. And then it's like, for them, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's what they're going to tell you. Because remember, they're half-truth. Meaning, if it's half-truth, there is half-lie. Alright. So, consider. So, I'm going to continue this reading. Oh, I just touched your two of cups card over here. <laughs> On how it runs out with your 12 cards for Christmas. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. As well as I am having fun. Alright? Bye!